Okay, Mike Wigginton, Natural Resource Conservation Service Resource Soil Scientist, in Lafayette, Indiana. We're up here right close to Rensselaer, Indiana, and we had two sites. The one in my left hand is the one that was in uh, cereal rye and um, has a pretty good structure and a lot of roots. Um, it's being held together pretty good. Um, by all those roots and here's in my right hand is a really blocky structure probably just 50 feet away uh, hardly any roots um, pretty dramatic difference between these two sites and so we have nice soil structure from one year of cereal rye and this is going to be easy for soybean or corn roots to come through whereas this the roots are going to have to work extra hard to come through there and that's the yield difference that's water infiltration that's not going to happen with this blocky structure whereas it is going to happen if we can preserve this um, soil till this nice coffee grounds is what we're looking for that's not coffee grounds that is one year one year tilled soil in tilled soil con conventional till so cover crops definitely have a role to play in conventional it's not just for no-tillers it's October or November 14th